I don't think that uh, Lamar Jackson is pre- reading the field particularly well in this game versus the Browns, um, particularly as it relates to uh, the defense, where they are, where they will be. Right here, you can see this deep safety um, coming up. And you can see, even if he wasn't, you've got a shot at John Brown deep here. I, he's got to take that shot there. Um, you can see right here, now he is scot-free. So if he makes up his mind just a little earlier than this, he's able to, to read that defender coming in. See, so he hasn't set his back foot yet. Um, he's got a home run there. You can see he's clear here, but that's a decision that has to make has to be made early based on where the defender is. Right there. You see that defender plant his back foot? He's, he's done right there. Um, and there's so much space here. It's worth a shot. Even if he's going to play Brown deep, uh, Brown's faster than him. I'll just watch it from the beginning. Same sort of thing. We're, we're talking about Lamar reading the defense post-snap. Well, both, pre and post. Here he makes a, a good throw uh, to John Brown, and the ball just gets knocked free. It's a good completion. Um, but what I want him to see and what I want us to look at and what he's going to need to do Sunday versus San Diego or L.A. is quick reads, quick decisions, quick determination that these two guys are coming. You can see uh, Chris Moore here in the slot right away. He's going to turn. He, he reads that, and so does Willie Sneed a few strides later. Right there. Um, I think Willie's the hit here. He's got to be able to identify that sort of thing. They've got to work with him so he can read defenses and have a plan. Man, you know, he ends up making a good throw here, but he does sort of stare it down. I don't know if I've got anything on the back end here. No. Let's watch it again from the beginning. To me, this is a, this is a pre-snap read. Um, Brown's defenders are all playing the sticks, all of them. Um, so even if you have a particular route and they come seven guys, um, this part of the field is open. You can see the defenders leading, but this has to be a, a call at the line. And I don't see why it isn't. I know it's third down. I know you need a first down here, uh, but they're not going to give you that. And you're not going to be able to protect. And there's got to be, I, these routes don't do anything to support Lamar here they don't they run right to the sticks um yeah it's not a good throw for one thing but it's not a inspiring again and not a, an inspiring route here there's a either a an errant throw or just a disc or a misconnect in the read but um I mean in the route but what I would suggest is more of an underneath pattern here underneath more uh maybe a few strides down in here there's time in the pocket, still time in the pocket here. Um, either that or you just turn and hit him. If they're going to give you four yards off the line of scrimmage here and that much space between you and the receiver, give it to him. Give it to him early and in stride. But I, I would prefer th this has got to be coached up. You see this kind of coverage here? They're not, we're not going to be able to protect him, and they're not – just running to the sticks isn't going to work, or just shy of the sticks. You can see the both outside guys doing that, and there's just not enough time for these later routes to open up. Um, but So I'm running Willie underneath of them there. I've been saying this for some time here, and I, I realize what the uh, Ravens are trying to do on this particular play with this sort of faux end around, but it didn't fool anybody. They were ready for that. What, what would have worked, you know, here in hindsight, and I'm talking about space. I'm talking about open parts of the field. That's what I'm after with this offense in terms of passing the football. Plenty of time still. Like these routes, routes are, are, are dead in the water, and he knows it there, and he's not going to outrun this coverage, this uh, edge here. you got to leak somebody. Look at this open space here. This has got to be drawn up. It's got to be Boyle in this particular uh, scheme here. And, and if it isn't Boyle, you know, it's not going to be one of these guys if it isn't the running back. But somebody more clever and more uh, highly paid than I should, should draw that up. You've got to be starting 
to, to think about backside passes here with this offense. You do. I mean, just look at that space uh, there. And it's contingent, of course, on, you know, this Nick getting on this guy quickly. But right now, Nick doesn't need to block this guy anymore. I know he thinks he does in case the edge is clear. But uh, I think you just draw that up as your number one read. You saw the Ravens do that earlier in the year with Flacco. But there's going to be so much more space here. They've got to get creative down here. And I think my opinion is it's backside throws. I can't figure this play in terms of who to blame. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I, I, I think you see a, uh, you can see it from the backside here. Um, yeah, right here. Nice job by Lamar here. Looks to his right. Looks over to the left, and he sees uh, uh, Montgomery kind of leak out here. Now, this defender's beat already because he's got to spy Lamar. These are the things. These are the things you've got to be able to exploit. And I, when I saw this live, I thought, wow, that's a, that's a nice ball coming off of his hand. To me, right here, I, maybe I'm being a bit of an apologist here, but he doesn't make much of an effort to go and get this football. Certainly he could have dived, Dove, <laughs> if nothing else. I don't know. I think Lamar is doing a nice job of leading him away from the center. And he's running the seam here, from the safety, rather. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I don't know. I'm going to put that a little bit on Montgomery. I'll watch it from the All-22. Yeah, I mean, but but the thing about this is, is these kinds of plays, big plays, are available. You can't you can't shoot yourself in the foot. No matter who's to blame here, uh, they've got to be able to convert this kind of stuff. Look at this room he's got to run. And like I said, I think Lamar does a nice job putting it out in front of him here. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not positive about that. But I put this more on the receiver. 